Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. Now you are watching part 4 of the subseries Flow Layout Panel Container. In this video, we will explore the auto scroll as well as wrap content properties. So, here um, we will lay in auto scroll property using this uh, uh, checkbox, then wrap content property using this second checkbox. So by default, the panel layout container will have this wrap content or wrap controls. The property name is wrap contents that will be true. So it will be a Boolean property and the default for that is true. And by removing the check mark, we are setting the wrap content property to false. So to enable the auto scroll first we need to set the wrap controls i mean the we have to deviate from the default for the wrap content property we have to set wrap content property to false then we should enable the auto scroll here if you see we enabled the auto scroll and you are seeing a scroll bar here and the scroll bar is set towards the left and the controls are in a single line so if i move this scroll bar towards right here it is moved towards right and you can see the contents are scrolled so these are all the content in the scroll panel and by comparing these two picture you can see how it moved towards left so once the control moved towards left you will be seeing the uh, here only part of the control was shown and once you start you are seeing this remaining portion of the control so simply the auto scroll will place all the controls in a single row or single column by default the flow direction is left to right here first we are handling the auto scroll checked changed event and in that event so this control we already saw it doesn't rename the control this one is checkbox one and this one is a checkbox two so when this checkbox is in checkered state here we set the wrap content property to true similarly when that is not in a checkered state we set the wrap content as false so flow layout cc is the name of this control so here is our flow layout control and that control name is here that's what we are accessing so control name dot trap content equal to true or false so that is checked based on this checkbox state next if you see here after removing the check mark here we place a check mark in a wrap control so that's the default and you can see the controls are wrapped towards the next line that means there is no room to accommodate this control so the size of the control will be like this so there is no room and the auto scroll also not enabled so what happens uh, a flow layout panel will wrap this to the next line that's what you are seeing and after that it plays the radio button similarly when you start adding the control it will go like this and when there is no room the control will come to third row that's the wrap control and if you see here checkbox to check changed and this time we are using the auto scroll property and we are setting it to true when the checkbox is in checkered state when it is not in checkered state we are setting the auto scroll property to false so that's all here now we will go to the example and we will implement this so we already know about this form design first we will click this then we will go to property 
and we will double click this uh, checked changed so one event is ready next we will create event for this also so enable auto scroll is checkbox 2 So in the form design you can see this is our checkbox set two and the wrap control is a checkbox one so wrap control and this one we can even switch this to match the content so that's all we handled both the checkbox uh, check change the events and the based on the check state we uh, assign the boolean properties wrap content and auto scroll now let's examine this So by default wrap controls are set to true. Now let me remove this check mark and once wrap control I mean the wrap content is false you can see all the controls are laid out in one row but some control we are not able to see and once you enable the auto scroll it will provide a scroll bar and you can scroll to see the other contents. now we will remove this and place a check mark here once again and you can see how it is breaking the flow now let me resize the form and you can see this text box come to the next line so now if i move further towards left there is no room for this text box and you will see two text box here in line two let me resize further and the radio button to go on to third line and you can see how it is arranging the control that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye